What's up guys? Welcome back. It's Nicole here and today we're going to be looking at set 75967 Forbidden Forest Umbridge's Encounter. Now I know this set has been out for quite a while already but I've just been trying to go through my collection reviewing all the sets that I really like and even though this is a very small set and I think a lot of people weren't very interested at first I wanted to do a review on it because it's actually one of my favorites. I think if you're a hardcore Harry Potter fan like myself it's a really good display piece. I like to keep it on my bookshelf in front of my books, as I do with a lot of my smaller sets, so I thought it would be fun to just do a review anyway and tell you guys what I think about it. Before I really get into it, I wanted to just talk about the box for a moment because I really like the box art. The shot might be a little overexposed right now and I know you can't see it super well, but I really like the Forbidden Forest vibe that they've got going on. They've got the overgrown greenery all around and they're displaying the scene where Grop is carrying Umbridge and the centaurs are shooting at them. But we're gonna put that aside right now and start with the minifigures. First up we have Harry Potter and like most sets, and this is not to fault with Lego, but like most sets he looks pretty basic and if I'm being honest it's not Lego's fault, it's really just the fact that Harry Potter has a very very simple style. Aside from his uniform he normally just sports a t-shirt and jeans so that's what he looks like in practically every set. It's not exciting, honestly he never is. I have a collection of pretty dull looking Harry Potters but if it's accurate to the films that's fine. He does have the more stern looking expression on this side which I've kept for the vibe that I'm going with this set and on the back he has a little smile. Not bad. And that's our Harry figure. Next up we have Hermione, and yes I know her wand is in the wrong hand, I just put their wands in whichever hand is better for displayability, I'm sorry, I know. A lot of people really wish that her sweater had arm printing and I'm actually with them, I think that would make this figure look a lot better. I do really love her hair in the set, I think her hair piece is perfect, it's amazing, it's the best one she has in my opinion. I'm also just a big fan because it looks like my hair and so my personal minifigure wears that same style. I love this sort of angry face that she's got going on here and I'll show you why I've chosen to display her with that face later, but I think that looks pretty good. And on the back, she also has back printing and this more smirky kind of sweet smile face, which is all right. I don't think it looks very Hermione, but it looks okay. Next we have Umbridge. Now I was so excited to get this figure because she is my first Umbridge figure and we all hate her more than we hate Voldemort. So she's an interesting figure to have, especially because of the clothes she wears. I mean, look at her outfit. <laughs> Her face looks amazing. I think they couldn't have chosen a more perfect hair piece. So again, for this set, I've chosen to display Umbridge with the more frightened looking expression. And that is because in this scene, she is getting dragged into the Forbidden Forest by centaurs. And this is exactly what she looked like. On the back side, she has this horrendously evil look. Horrendous only because it's Umbridge. I just hate it because they did such a good job and it's really conveying that sort of irritating laugh that she does. That squeaky, I'm not even, I don't even want to imitate it. That's what this face is doing. Next up we have our centaurs and these guys are super cool. I can't believe I actually got two of them in this set, let alone three other minifigures. That is one thing I've noticed about Harry Potter sets is that you do get a lot of minifigures per set and I don't really know what the difference is between Harry Potter and Star Wars, but for some reason we do pretty well in the minifigure department if you ask me. Anyway, these centaurs, I really like them. The whole bottom half is a molded piece and the top half ooh, is difficult to take off. That's what the bottom looks like, and you just have a minifigure top that you squish right on there. That's what he looks like without his weapon. They're exactly identical. Each one of them comes with a bow and a satchel for all their arrows. They both have the same dual-sided face printing, so the heads are identical, and if you turn this face over, you'll find this exact same one and vice versa, which is pretty cool because they can both convey that kind of angry expression or that more neutral, like, leave me alone expression. I especially love the torso printing on them. You can see they're very muscular and these extra straps, which are supposed to be probably a bag for arrows is what they are. Actually, I don't know what that's supposed to be. But anyway, you can see that they have the same face printing on both sides. They are definitely very cool. Next up, we're gonna take a look at Grop who in my opinion, besides Umbridge, is like the reason you buy this set. So when I purchased this set, I wasn't entirely sold. I didn't think I was actually gonna like it. It's like I said, I do believe that this set is for more hardcore Harry Potter fans who wanna get like every Lego Harry Potter set that comes out, but after building him, I have to say, he was really fun to put together. You do get a lot of stickers in this set. These leg pieces are both stickers. Up here around his torso, these are stickers, and his chest hair and little outlining here are both stickers as well. Luckily, his face is printed on there, and they did a really good job. I could not be more happy with how that face printing looks. One of my favorite parts is his belly button, <laughs> because it's kind of gross, but it sticks out exactly how it does. There are a couple drawbacks. The most disappointing part of 
the set, in my opinion, are the fact that his arm joints here are gray. I don't know why this couldn't have just been printed to be his skin color. Really, would that have been that hard? You have this perfectly colored set, but then his arms have these weird gray pieces. Like, what is that? I think it's really obvious too. It just sticks out. The other thing is on the pads of his feet, you can see these orange blocks and I can't remember from putting him together what those are, but I don't think they had to be there. And he does sit down a lot in the movie. This is kind of a position that you saw him in, sitting down and playing with some toys next to his tree. So this should really not be here. And it would probably be easy, again, I can't remember what piece that is, but it would probably be easy to replace. It just, it shouldn't be there to begin with. Third issue with our friend Grop is the fact that he has no back. <laughs> I didn't think this is something I would care about so much, but it really irritates me. Luckily, the way I have him displayed, you can't even tell. So it's not a huge deal in my case, but like kids, for example, who wanna play with this set are probably like, hey, what the heck is this? Like, why did we only build half of this figure? And that's literally what you did. You can see he's got the rounded front and and then the back is just this like straight line where we decided to stop designing. I'm sure it was a method to like save money or something, so that's understandable, but for me personally, these gray pieces, that's just too far. I can't, I don't like that at all. On the positives, let me note that I also think he's really cute. Again, his face expression is really sweet. He's got a curious smile going on there. And despite my criticisms, especially from the way I have him displayed on my bookshelf and how nice the scene looks, I do still really like this character and he was also really fun to put together. Now let's take a look at the set as a whole. So this here is essentially how I have my set displayed. As you can see, I kind of displayed two separate scenes from the movie because with Umbridge's scared face and the two centaur minifigs, I definitely had to have that scene where they were dragging her away into the woods. But I also really wanted that scene where Harry and Hermione first meet Grop and he picks her up without her permission and then gets lectured like a child. It's definitely hard to see from their position. She's got her wand down by her side because obviously she's not gonna hurt him, but she does have that angry face and her fist raised in the air and she's telling him to put her down. And if you want, hidden in the tree behind them is a compartment. You just open the tree up like this and ta-da, there's the bicycle handle that Grop later gives to Hermione as a peace offering and she rings in return. There's also a nice spider hanging from the tree. You've got some mushrooms growing out of the sides. I found the tree to be really boring to build if I'm being honest. You do get some extra props. There's a lamp in there, an extra mushroom I think, and a bone. Don't want to know what from, but essentially this just serves to give the scene more character. I do have Harry off to the side there just kind of standing like, hey, what's going on? Just because that's exactly what he did in the movie. And even if this whole situation with Umbridge was going on over there, I don't think he would care. Yeah, those centaurs, they're, uh, they're not happy. And I think it's really funny that I don't even remember from the books if we found out what they did. I'm assuming they just dragged her off and held her for ransom until the Ministry of Magic rescued her because she showed up later. In the movies, there was never any mention as to what went on. And yeah, in the books, I don't even remember what happened. But anyway, this is my setup. I totally love how it looks. This is a small set, but you get some really cool minifigures and this grop I don't know what you call this. This is not a big fig, is he? He's not a big fig. He's just this character that you assemble and he looks really cool. I honestly love the fact that it's like a chapter from one of my favorite Harry Potter books just come to life and resting in front of all my books. Given the price of this set, I would say it's certainly worth picking up. This set is about 30 US dollars. I was able to find it on clearance for like 23, I think. And if you can get that deal, which I'm pretty sure this set is like always on clearance. Like I said, it just spruces up your environment. It's a really dorky, Fun accessory just to have around. And I'm not gonna lie, it could be one of my favorite small sets that I have. But then again, Harry Potter is like my world, so I'm a little biased. So essentially, that's it for the set. It is really small. I can't say I recommend it 100%. The Room of Requirement, for example, if it's between this and the Room of Requirement, oh my gosh, hands down, get the Room of Requirement. That is like, that is a small set, but it is one of my favorites. I think it's both cheaper and less pieces, but it looks amazing. But this is still a really fun build. And if you're a big Harry Potter fan, you like all the Lego Harry Potter sets, you want them all, definitely get this one. There are some that I shied away from. Hungarian Horntail set I never got. The Quidditch match I never got, I really wish I did. That one I do regret. Aragog's Lair, don't have it. But this one is worth getting. I mean, for what you're paying, you get Umbridge, you get two centaurs, Hermione, Harry, Grop, and a tree. <laughs> The tree, honestly, I could care less about. It just does add to that environment ambiance, I suppose. But that's all I'm gonna say about it because I feel like I've rambled a lot and this video was kind of all over the place. Despite that, I hope you enjoyed this review. Again, this was set 75967, Forbidden Forest, Umbridge's Encounter. I hope you enjoyed my over analysis. If you pick up this set, let me know. You probably already have. Again, this set has been out for quite a while. If you liked this review, hit the thumbs up button. Feel free to subscribe. I won't complain. I recommend you do. Again, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see 
see you guys soon.